BC Libraries includes a total of seven libraries. O'Neill is the main library for arts and sciences, and there are six special libraries. We have robust collections you're welcome to browse and borrow, but our most important feature is our staff, including specialist librarians for every subject of study. We're here to help. Ask us anything. At O'Neill's Circulation Desk, you can check out books, technology, and miscellaneous items such as umbrellas and bicycles. Though the Physical Reference Desk is temporarily closed and will reopen, we are here for you virtually. Use our chat or email reference services to connect with library experts. Also available virtually are research guides created by subject librarians. They're a great place to start exploring resources. When you need more help, contact information and chat are just a click away. On the main entrance floor, O'Neill Level 3, is a variety of study spaces. Don't worry, we'll have our book processing cleared away by the time you're here. Also available on O'Neill Level 3, just past the sunny atrium stairs are printing, scanning, and help with personal computers by appointment. Our print collections are shelved according to the Library of Congress, or LC, call number system. With over 3 million volumes at your disposal, you'll probably find what you're looking for. If you need a book we don't have, Interlibrary Loan, ILL, is fast and free. We borrow material from all over the world. The ILL office also fulfills your requests for scans of articles and book chapters. We also have a significant print reference collection, which includes encyclopedias, dictionaries, directories, handbooks, commentaries, and biographical sources. Most of our periodicals are available electronically. Our subscriptions to the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post are especially popular. We do still subscribe to print versions of some journals and newspapers, also available on O'Neill Level 3. The media collection includes subject-related and popular films on DVD and music in an array of genres on CD. The collection is open for browsing and materials may be checked out. The popular collection in the O'Neill lobby includes contemporary fiction, nonfiction, and film intended for leisure reading and viewing. On O'Neill Level 2 is our digital studio, where you can use specialized software to explore resources for analyzing data and creating digital media. In the Connors Family Learning Center on Level 2, near the digital studio, you can find tutors in most subjects, including writing, or make arrangements for accommodations for exams. Also on Level 2, the Center for Teaching Excellence, the CTE, works with academic departments to support their efforts to enhance teaching. In spite of the digital age, many resources are still on microfilm or microfiche. You can find them on O'Neill Level 1 in the microforms area. Also on Level 1 are book displays of graphic novels and new books, a gallery space, a collaborative study area, additional printers, a service checkout desk, and, of course, the night book drop next to the first floor entrance. On Level 4, you'll find the biggest portion of our collection area, E to P in Library of Congress call numbers, and a wide variety of study spaces. On Level 5 are collections A through D, group study rooms, quiet study, a food-free space, and a new study area both for group and solo study. I hope you don't have the impression that there's only one library. There are four others on the Chestnut Hill campus, another in Brighton, and of course the Law Library on the Newton campus, which is part of the BC Law School. The Theology and Ministry Library, the TML, on the Brighton campus serves the School of Theology and Ministry, STM, and St. John's Seminary, SJS. It has a collection especially rich in Catholic theology and history. A hallmark example of mid-1960s architecture, the TML features a beautiful atrium where exhibits, receptions, formal dinners, prayer services, and performances are routinely hosted, and a wide variety of very quiet study areas. Pabst Library, an English collegiate Gothic building, houses collections in art, architecture, museum studies, and photography. 
The stained glass windows in Gargan Hall illustrate major courses of study in Jesuit colleges and universities. There are approximately 400 quiet study spaces in a combination of individual carrels and tables. Located in the basement of McGuinn Hall, the Social Work Library provides collections and research assistance on subjects including social work and other mental health fields. You can also find printers, a scanner, and check out laptops. Find them at library.bc.edu slash socialwork. The Educational Resource Center, the ERC, is an academic curriculum library housing diverse instructional and curricular materials like textbooks, manipulatives, children's literature, and educational technology. Thanks for joining us on this tour. If you remember one thing, it's this. The most important feature is our staff. We're here to help. Ask us anything. We look forward to meeting and working with you. Oh, and by the way, the John J. Burns Special Collections Library made an introductory video of their own. Be sure to watch that one, too. Links for everything mentioned in this video are in the video summary.